Saturday Night Live, Red Fox and Ronald Reagan are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is October 11th, 2022. It is the 284th day of the year. There are 81 days left. It is the 41st Tuesday in the 41st week and the 20th day of fall. There are 71 days left until winter. Today is General Polisky Memorial Day. October 11th honors a Polish hero of the American Revolution. The day is set aside in the United States to recognize Kazmierz Polisky, a Polish immigrant. Over two centuries ago, he joined the Continental Army and soon rose to the ranks of Brigadier General. Along with General George Washington, he built a legacy that included raising an arm of the colonial military that had not yet been developed, the cavalry. As such, he became known as the father of the American cavalry. He first saw combat in his home country at age 15 when Poland went to war with Russia. Pulaski was injured in battle. He died of his wounds suffered at the Siege of Savannah on October 9th, 1779. General Pulaski died a few days later on October 11th. All right, let's see what else October 11th has given us. 1776, the American Revolution. A fleet of American boats on Lake Champlain is defeated by the Royal Navy, but delays the British advance until 1777. 1954, in accord with the 1954 Geneva Conference, French troops complete their withdrawal from North Vietnam. 1986, Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev meet in Iceland to continue discussions on scaling back nuclear missiles in Europe. Premiered on October 11th, 1975, Saturday Night Live, longtime running show, is amazing, still to this day. If you've never seen it, it's a comedy sketch show that has musical guests and special guests that hosts the show. It's an American classic. A lot of people say it's not funny anymore, but honestly, I've watched it since about 1980, and I've heard that it's not funny anymore every single year. It's a matter of taste. If you don't like it now, three years from now, you might think it's amazing. And it's always better when you look back at what was going on. It's like nobody likes it when it's on, you know, live or whatever. But you look back at some of the classics they had and you're like, this is the greatest show ever. Interestingly enough, it premiered on October 11th. So did 30 Rock appear on October 11th, many years later, obviously. But that show is kind of like a spoof on running a show like Saturday Night Live. Born on October 11th, 1960. 61 Steve Young, legendary San Francisco 49ers quarterback who followed Joe Montana and was named the Super Bowl MVP for Super Bowl 29. He played college football for BYU and signed an unprecedented 10-year, $40 million contract with the Los Angeles Express in the USFL in 1984. Died on October 11, 1991, we lost Red Fox, African-American comedian who starred on Sanford and Son and is best remembered for his vulgar comedy records. Yeah, I heard some of those when I was a kid. They were vulgar, especially as a young man. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. He ate half a bar of soap prior to his physical for World War II's draft, which resulted in heart palpation and he didn't have to go. Chris Rock often says that he was influenced by Red Fox's comedy. If you remember Sanford and Son, he always feigned a heart attack whenever something upset him. And he says, I'm coming, Elizabeth, uh, talking about his wife that had died some years earlier. Well, in 1991, he had a new show called The Royal Family. He was on there. He's later on in life. He was 68 at the time. And they were filming a show, and I guess there was this one scene where he was supposed to walk behind Della Reese's uh, chair. And that was it. He had no lines, no nothing. They were just rehearsing with a stagehand to walk behind the chair and all that. Well, one of the producers comes out and starts freaking out. Well, if he's supposed to be here, he needs to be here. Well, so they go break up this interview he's doing with Entertainment Tonight, and they bring him out. He sits down. He finds out he has no lines, and they just interrupted his interview for nothing, and he starts freaking out. Well, he falls to the ground. Originally, everyone thought he was pulling that, you know, I'm coming, Elizabeth routine. So they kind of laughed and then they kind of looked down and realized he was having a problem. They ended up taking him to the hospital. He died. The worst part is Della Reese said 10 seconds after the doctor came out and announced that he was dead, those producers that were there that made him come out, they're all, well, what are we going to do with this script? It was written for Red. Who are we going to get to replace him? And I guess Della Reese freaked out and I don't know if the show was going to go on before that, but she said she quit that day. She got in her car after freaking out in the hospital and never went back to that show, which is 100% understandable, which is 100% understandable. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be back to normal length videos. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.